Okay, we are about to go head off towards Arcadia in order to try and find our way into a laboratory to go and destroy the piece of, piece of nephesite that the Arcadian Empire has. But before we go, I'm going to go take a trip right here over to the Clan Provisioner. Why? Because there's an item here that I just want to have to go and pick up. This Nihopa something something something. 30,000 gil. That is almost all of the money I have. Damn. Look at that. What does this do? Well, it's a nice little thing. It, um... Well, let's go check it out. None of my characters, I think, have the skill to equip it, but... Reverses the effects of restorative items such as potions. Meaning, if I have a potion while equipped on this and I use it, it will hurt my characters rather than heal them. Also, um, things like remedies. If you have the remedies and your skills involve removing, like, the oil skill from your characters, your remedy will actually cause that to have to cause that status effect to happen to you. Now, why do we want this? The reason why we want this is because it can be very useful against more powerful enemies that are susceptible to multiple types of multiple types of uh, status ailments in the event that we use these um, we use remedies on them. Now remedies provided you have the proper skill do enorm can uh, cure various a uh, large number of status ailments. Having this item equipped will make it so you're not curing them, you're causing them and you're causing them all at once to a powerful enemy. You can also throw potions at enemies in order to kill them or to harm them. So it's something that, I mean, it can be quite useful against some powerful enemies. Now, if a lot of the bosses are actually immune to these various status ailments, so you're not going to... you're not going to be killing a lot of bosses like this. But it's gonna, well, it's gonna be nice. And I'll demonstrate that later on in the episode, but right now I'm just going to be I'm just going to be um, moving through. Also note that this episode is not going to have much in the way of storyline. It's just going to be a lot of... Um, poach! Okay, poached him. It's going to be a lot of me traveling, and there's shorter ways that I can get to where I'm going, but I want to jump through this episode... I want to travel to Nalbana Fortress, which is where I'm going first and where we actually started the game. I'm going to travel to Nalbana, and then I'm going to travel through the Seelik Wood, and then I'll probably end the episode there. So in the event that you won't feel like watching me travel a whole lot, uh, uh, feel free to not watch this. But I'll try to keep uh, anyone who's willing to stay around entertained as we go talking about all this crap that's going on here. Getting to Nalbana. There are two ways I can see of getting to Nalbana. We can go the long hard way, which is what I'm doing right now. I'm going to be traveling this way and that way and up north. The Barheim Passage is over there. Nalbana is going to be... I think I can access Nalbana from this map. And it's not really all that far away. But the thing is, there's a much, much easier way. That would have cost me only about 200 gil. And that would have been to take an airship off of... Uh, take an airship from either Rabinoster or Berjuba. Of course, I'd have to take an airship to Berjuba. That would be taking an airship from Berjuba. So, that doesn't make any sense. But an airship would get us there rather quickly, and we could have, quite a long time ago, gone to Nalbana Fortress if we really felt like it. But up until now, it hasn't been required. In fact, considering how not a uh, sort of little bit of non-linearity there exists in the game that allows you to access areas like where we are now long before it's actually necessary, I could have gone to Nalbana a long time ago, but I think... I'm not sure about this, don't don't hold me to this, but I think it's possible that we can get past there without actually um, 
without actually passing through Nalbana. But I don't hold me on that. Hold, don't hold me to that. Okay, here we go. This is Nalbana. Um, oh, that's a little bit of a shame. In the event that we approached Nalbana through in, by way of airship, there was actually like a CG cutscene that we would have seen, which would have been a nice little, um, nice little thing there. Uh, hold on. Well, let's go take a look through here. Nalbana Fortress was the first part of the game that we actually got a chance to play through. It was where Rex and Bosch... Oh, oh wait, here's a cutscene, never mind. Nalbana itself is split up into three different areas. There's Nalbana Fortress, which is where we started the game at, playing as Rex. There is Nalbana Town, which is where we are right now. And then there's Nalbana Dungeon, where, um, where we got imprisoned early on in the game. I'm not going to buy any of this crap. Actually, you know what? I'm, I'm going to sell the crap I picked up while running here. Nalbana Town, unlike Rabinaster, is not a large place. It is actually very easy for us to run from one side to another. We pretty much reached the other side of the city already. Okay. Hey, guys, sitting up there. Okay, whatever. The only thing that you'd really... Why are you on the ground? Are you planking? Okay. Jobby. The only reason why you'd ever really spend any time in Nalbana is to access the, um, the various shops around here. Which I could do this buying some stuff while passing through Nalbana in order to get to the Silica Wood. And this would pretty much be your last chance to have the full array of shops available to you before there's quite a long period of time in which we don't have that option. In fact, I'm looking for an item shop. Did I pass an item shop? It'd be nice if I found an item shop. Uh, item shops are, okay, out by the road. The other reason why you'd ever go to Nalbana is because the there are several hunts that you can go and do, like, from patrons that are in Nalbana. So, there's that. Item shop. Now, remember I was talking about remedies earlier. Oh my god, you don't have remedies? Where are they? Remedies. 400. I only have two remedies. I don't have enough money to buy a lot of these things, so I'll I'll get five of them. Onion arrows, onion bolts, none of this crap's any good for me. Now I'm going to leave. Let me hit the save crystal just to be sure about that. Hey guys, standing there. Mosafarin Heights. The enemies in this area are going to be quite a bit tougher than the Yester Sand, which we had just passed through in order to get to Nalbana. Hmm, 
the arc of the um everything looks a little bit different cool looking place though and just a little bit of a recap about what the deal with Nalbano was Nalbano was the country that was assaulted by Arcadia in the beginning of the game remember Ash had married Prince Rostler Rostler was from Nebradia which um, Nalbano Fortress was a um, was a ba base of uh, Nalbradia. So when Arcadia looking to annex more territory in its potential war against Arcadia went and declared war on Nebradia and the capital city of Nebradia called Nabrodis actually fell quite quickly that that war did not last very long they Arcadia moved in kicked their asses and eventually Nabrodis exploded in this enormous um, explosion caused by a piece of nephesite that they had procured when they took over Nebradia. But Nabudis, the last stand that they could really have was in the Nebradia fortress. And Dalmasca sent their troops in in order to defend Nabana fortress. Because I guess the idea was that the fortress was sort of a barrier against the Arcadian invasion. If they were able to stop the Arcadian invasion at Nalbana, they would it would um, it would stop the invasion from eventually getting to Damascus. Poach, 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 poach. You can get some extra items if you poach enemies killing them instead of just gunning them down or chopping them up like normal. But anyway, the battle was a failure. The, the defense really didn't work out so well for, for Nebradia or Dalmasca. And it was basically the Nebradia's last stand. And that sh signified the end of their resistance against Arcadia. Dalmasca fought on for a little longer, but you know they, that was pretty much their last chance as well. Prince Rossler died, and Nalbana was taken over by the Arcadian Empire. Now, there was quite a bit of damage done there during the battle at Nalbana Fortress. And I guess the Empire, when they took it over, I mean, it doesn't really make a lot of sense for them to be maintaining this city in its ruined state. So they went, and their uh, Arcadia was in the process of rebuilding Nalbana Town which is what we had seen, uh, that airship, like, dropping supplies onto there and stuff. I guess that was building materials and stuff. Ouch! Pinello's gonna attack, but she's worthless for that. <laughs> so we do see more examples, and the same thing happened in Damascus, though Rabinaster was spared any actual combat. Arcadia, although they did invade these countries and did destroy all this stuff, they were, um, they weren't like, not all the people from Arcadia are a bunch of evil monsters and that kind of crap. Hello, Carrie of Vanier. See if I can, uh, okay, there you go. See, I, I went and I poached this instead of just killing the enemy. Same thing with the quality pelts. And I get a much bigger prize for doing that than just killing enemies. And what do you know, I got some money back. Okay, these people are, I guess, maybe traveling to the capital as well, but it's a long way off. Yeah, I'm going through the forest. Save crystal. Might as well use it. Not to save, just to heal. <laughs> yeah, this is a safe zone, but... Uh, yeah, I think this might be the last safe zone we're going to encounter for some time. 
If you gotta buy any items, buy items. It's too late for you to buy weapons unless you go back. What well, else? A teleport crystal. So I guess you could uh, teleport back anywhere you really wanted to go. Alrighty. Oh shit! What in the hell? Kill that thing! Kill it now! You're dead. Ah, uh, hold on. I'm gonna go change my gambits around a bit. Okay, I just changed it around so Pinello would be more likely to use magic to attack enemies, and in, I really only have it set up for a weakness against ice. But these enemies are apparently weak against ice, or I hope so, anyway. Hold on, let's, uh... Let's make damn sure. Okay, it's not weak against ice. Okay, Bosch is gonna have to start attacking some magic. They're getting there. Bosh, why are you swinging your sword? You can't do crap. Seems kind of stupid using Bosh to throw magic attacks when he's not really a magic user. But whatever. What? What are you bothering me for? Okay, he's got like a rage status on him, so he can't. I can't control him. Might as well get Pinello out of there. Get somebody in there who can actually do some damage. Plus, uh, Ash with her. With her bow there can do damage against a flying enemy. So can Fran, she's got a gun. Kill it! I can't... I can't uh, see its life bar. There it is. Life bar, I can't see it. Oh, well, it's dead anyway. Should probably get Bosch out of there. Oh, Bosch is cured. Die, fool! I can't tell which one's deader. Oh, this one's weak against water, the fire elemental. Oh shit, a fire elemental. Don't, uh, don't attack elementals. Them bitches be powerful. Run. And Bosch is silenced. Eh, might as well kill it. Down goes Fran. Okay. Come on, die. I'll let her use poach. Oh, didn't work. Kill it quick. Ah, damn it. Ash is down.
That'll do it. Hurry up and cure. All right, let's kill some things. Oh yeah, these guys got nothing. Is that like a beard that's covering their entire chest? What's down here? And there's nothing down here. I think I may have mentioned this before, but I do like the idea that this game takes where there is more than one way to get from point A to point B. And I, I'm, I don't know for sure, but I think this is not the only way of me getting to the silica wood. And I might as well kill it. Don't disappoint me. Just run. Almost there, almost there, almost there, and we're there. Now we are about to enter the Silica Wood. This long, rather awesome looking rope bridge is going to be taking us there. And... Okay, the silica wood bridge that we're on here has actually a sort of storyline reference to it in regards to, uh, like, its existence and stuff. Like, a lot of the things in this game seem to do. It's not just a place in the game that you go and you play through. It's like, oh, okay, here's a path through the woods. That's nothing. The idea behind this was this was an old road that was taken, that existed in Nebradia, connecting, I guess, Nalbana to the territories to the north. And I guess, I guess you can access Nabaldis through this road, too. I can't remember if this is where to get at it from, but it might be. Now, ever since the invention of air travel, airship travel, and all that kind of stuff, the necessity of this road has been reduced quite significantly. There are obviously still some people traveling it, like we saw all the other people. Like, and this dude. This dude's traveling it. Alright. Yeah, this guy... Uh, it's not the only way to get to Arcadia, because airship travel certainly exists. But it's the um, it's an old way, which is why everything's in disrepair. But when Arcadia went and invaded Nalbana, they basically ig uh, ignored the road entirely, and that's why it's being overgrown. And the parts that are falling apart are essentially being ne completely neglected. Aha! Now there is more than one way to get through the silica wood as well. Hey, Moo- uh, are those Moogles? Moogles look funny in this game. Okay. You're resting. Sure. Alright.
Ah, I wanted them to poach it. I'm gonna kill this rabbit thing. Hello, cute little creature. Dead! Oh, you're not dead. You'll be dead soon. Dead! Level up for cutting down a defenseless little rabbit. Why? Because I can. And I'm evil. Okay. Treasure chest. That gigantic turkey is of no threat. Although I should probably kill it anyway, just for good measure. Oh, that bitch dodged my attack. <laughs> okay, let them poach it. Let them poach it. And they poached it. Not that Vaughn didn't try ruining that for him or anything. The thing just managed to dodge his attack. I can't remember exactly which way I need to go to get through the silica wood, but I think I'm going in the right way. You can see there are different pathways I could have taken. Yeah, yeah, this is it. This is definitely it. Treasure chest! And another giant turkey. Oh my god, so many of the treasure chests you're gonna find contain nothing but crap. I mean, gill is always nice, but at this point in the game, what's 153 gill? Treasure chests can contain really, really nice equipment. Or really nice items, or whatever. But no, uh, which way am I going? I'll go this way. Ball there's 29! Wow, I'm getting turned around a little bit. I guess this is the best way to go. That goes nowhere. If it goes nowhere, then I guess that means the treasure chest down there. Nope, nope. I was lying about that. King Marlboro! Oh, wrong one. Hit that one! Marlboro King! This game is a week against Holy. That doesn't even be any good. Damn it. Ash has been slowed and put to sleep. Marlboro Fruit. That's got to be worth quite a bit. Oh, there was nothing down here anyway but a treasure chest. This thing better be good. High potion. Eh, it could have been worse. Could have been better, too. But it could have been worse. Now we see, like, this isn't meant that the road continued off in that direction, but that root... That's not a root. More like a branch. Grew up through there and just ripped it off. The road is in pretty bad disrepair, but there are a lot of areas where... Shit, I'm going the wrong way. A lot of areas where you're just sort of running around tree branches and stuff. Like here, this seems like we're running on a tree branch rather than a regular part of the road. Dead! Okay, there we go. Okay, yeah, yeah, this is where I was hoping I would end up. There's a Moogle here. Bombs up ahead. Oh, that seems kind of dangerous. 
Okay, I'm ready for this. It took me a little bit, but uh, I got ready for what's ahead. A oh, bomb. Okay, it's time to do a little bit of killing. Now this thing... Ah, my... Hold on. My, my, my gambits aren't set up right. Um, that's... Both Balthier and Ash are set up to attack random targets. It's not what I want. That's not what I want. Party leader's target. Yeah, okay, there we go. Okay, this thing is, of course, strong against fire, but weak against water. Now, I don't really have much in the way of powerful water spells. So, I'm going to do something that really doesn't seem to make any sense. I'm going to go to Ash, and I'm going to sudden Bellus. Bellus is, of course, a fire esper, so that doesn't really make any damn sense, does it? Well, the reason why I'm going to do this has got to become apparent. So long as Ash stays far enough away that she doesn't take damage, Bellus will take all of the attacks that the enemies throw at it. And she and it's it's basically going to absorb the attacks and not take any damage. Look at that. That's awesome. Fire it will do no damage to Bellus. Just heal it. And now that we've summoned this thing, I am going to throw a remedy at the massive bomb here, the King Bomb. Remember, I had in the beginning of the episode picked up that item which reverses the effects on things. Now look at that. This thing just got saddled, hindered, encumbered with a whole lot of different status ailments. Now, the only thing I have to make sure that happens is I have to de-summon Bellus within the last, I uh, 10, 15 seconds or so of its time here, because I don't want it to cast the powerful Hellfire spell, or whatever it's called, which, which um, will actually heal the boss here. And I'm going to keep Ash using this gigantic-ass bow, because I don't want her getting anywhere near this thing. And... I have, if she gets knocked unconscious, Bellus will de-summon. In fact, I'm actually about, about to de-summon him now. Okay, I'm going to dismiss now, just to be on the safe side. Dismiss. And it's time to be fighting this fight like normal. Boom! Kill it, kill it, kill it! Actually, you know what? It's almost dead now. So I'm going to throw some quickenings at it. Now, I picked up Two new quickenings in the meantime. Protoclasm for Ash and... Or Protoclasm for Van. And Ash got some other new power. I forget what it was called. Now, this is a fire-looking thing, but it won't do fire damage. So we'll be okay. Hopefully I can kill the King Bomb before it has a chance to heal itself. Because that would be bad. I think I'll be able to do this. Ah, damn it. Okay, I may not have done it. But I think we're still okay. Okay, I didn't kill it. And I'm out of MP. It's gonna go wander off and try to heal itself. Which is a, pain, a bit of pain in the ass. Maybe I should consider pulling Ash out of the party. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna pull Ash out of the party and get Bosch in there. So he can deal some more melee damage right away. And if it tries to heal itself, I'll use Bosch's 
Oh, you... Oh, no, it's almost dead. We're good. Ha-ha! Congratulations, indeed. Okay, uh, how much further do I have to go here? Uh, let's just keep going this way. Wow, it's another one of these bridges. This one's a little more overgrown, though. <sighs> more bridges. Selkwood is actually a pretty big place. Come to think of it, I probably should have gone and healed my characters before... Oh, you dodged that attack. It's Ganon! <laughs> He's got a gas mask. Chump? Um, no. A chocobo! Chocobo, chocobo, chocobo! An evil chocobo. So let's kill it. Because, you know, I must kill all random creatures. Yeah, poach it. Poach it, poach it. No, you're going to... It's. Ah, we got a chocobo feather. Sweet. And took quite a bit of damage. Ah, <laughs> oh, jeez. Hmm, I may not even be going the right way at this point. All I remembered how to do was to get us to the bomb. The king bomb. Beyond that, I was assuming that it was just um, pretty much a straight shot to get out of here. These guys are quick to dodge shit. Look at that. Parry, parry, parry. Ugh, friggin' Marlboros. Is there anything down there worth taking? Treasure chest. Treasure chest could be awesome, everybody. Remember, treasure chest could be awesome. And it's very likely that they're not, as was the case this time. Oh, something's feeding on a chocobo. Maybe I should kill it before it gets too strong. Seems like a rational reaction. Mm, some animal some distance away is getting stronger. I better kill it as quickly as possible. Yeah, logic. It's video game logic, by the way. Oh shit! Run! <laughs> Run! <laughs> ah! Apparently, I got a lot stronger than I was thinking it did. Ah, oh, damn! Ah! Leave me alone! <laughs> we got something following us. It's just you. Okay, you can kill that thing if you want. Oh, I, or you'll probably just miss a bunch of times. Mm, I really should have gotten a better sword for Bosch. I mean, Bosch is a powerful character. Physical attack-wise, but he's uh, really dropping the ball in terms of damage compared to the other characters. Uh, both Balfir and Vaughn are carrying one of these ice saber jobs. What's it called? Um... Ice brand. And Bosch is still carrying the old Demon's Bane sword I picked up a bunch from while I was in the Tomb of Wraithwall. It was a pretty good weapon for its time, but it's gotten kind of outdated. I, I just went, sir, I just circled around. Ah, oh, that was stupid. 
But by now, it's kind of an outdated weapon. In fact, Ash's bow that she's using, bows are typically not going to do as much damage as a melee weapon, uh, like a sword at least. But even their sword is doing at least similar damage to... Her bow, I'm sorry, is doing similar damage to what hits him with the sword. So, you know, I don't... So I really should have invested some money in getting a better sword for him. But, um... Well, I had to spend all my money to get that stupid item to reverse the effects of healing items. And that kind of messed me up. It spent all the money that I had. And I wasn't able to go and, uh... Just equip everyone the way I really wanted to. You know what? Yeah, I'm gonna get rid of Bosch and bring Ash back in. I mean, if she's gonna do similar damage, but be able to do it from a distance, I might as well, you know. Of course, there are other advantages to using a sword over a bow. Like, um... Oh. Who just leveled up? He didn't tell me, because I picked up the Magicite. It's one of them things! It's a bad idea to fight that! Um, oh, you know what? It's not as powerful this time. I guess it didn't eat that chocobo yet. So it's dead. We killed it. We saved that chocobo. You hear that, chocobo? We saved your life. Saved your life so much that I feel you're so indebted to me that I'm going to kill you. Just because. Poach him, poach him, poach him! Yeah, um... Definitely acting like a sociopath. There's another one of those things. I wonder if I threw like an X potion or, or maybe a uh, Phoenix down at something like this. Let me give that a try. If I toss a Phoenix down at a conscious enemy, will it kill it in one shot? Apparently it will! Nice one, Ash. Nice one. A Phoenix Down will kill at least a regular opponent. I gotta be, uh, I'm willing to bet that that's not gonna be the case with, uh, bosses. But if it's a strong regular opponent, I can go and chuck a Phoenix Down at them. Wow. 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 Okay. Wow, wait until the end.